Hi, today I'm going to show you how to install the ES6, ES10 shutter system for our technical innovations, home domes and pro domes. As you can see from reading through the instructions, we've installed the shuttles or the SCCAs on the front shutter and have just rested that up on top of the rear shutter, as you can tell. We've installed the pulleys and there's the bolt hole drilling guide that shows you where each of these holes go. The idler pulley at the bottom. And we continue up the other side. And then we have our two right angle pulleys. Now, one thing with the right angle pulleys in order to find the proper position, what I like to do is put the pulley on the cable and stretch it out so that you have as straight a line as possible going in. And you can see from both sides, we have a pretty straight line across. I mark with a Sharpie and then drill the top hole and leave the bottom one undrilled for now. That way you can shift the bracket up and down to make sure that the cables aren't rubbing in any specific spot. All right, so we have the cables. You're just gonna go across in the most natural way. So you see that this cable comes up on top, this cable comes underneath, and you're just gonna go straight out. We're not crisscrossing. Go straight across, this one is gonna go under. And now we have a long cable and a short cable. The short cable, we're gonna anchor straight up. Loosen this a little bit. And use the included 1032 nut driver. We're going to anchor it in place. The long cable, we're going to go to the inside pulley and follow that all the way down until we get to the idler pulley where we're going to go underneath and up on top and follow through on the outside pulleys. Finally, we're going to terminate in the pulley clamp. Now for right now, we're just gonna do tight enough to hold the cable in place. We're not gonna crank it down. Now the other side, you can see the pulleys the cable is an upper and a lower also. We're just going to follow through. But on this side, it's going to be reversed. So the, the short pulley, the short cable is going to go on the bottom pulley. And we're going to terminate here. The long cable goes on the inside, just like the other one on the other side. Follow through, go under and over. And we, we go under and over because when the shutter gets pulled down, what ends up happening is if it's the opposite way, it pulls the sh bottom of the shutter a little bit too tight and causes too much friction. So we're just gonna follow up, up, up and one thing with these cable clamps you'll notice there's the bolt in the center and you can run the cable on either side that side or that side i suggest running the cable on the side closest to the flange first because that'll keep it more in line with falling in between the pulley braces there. All right, so that's all you have to do to get the initial cabling done. Now when we release these cable clamps, you'll notice there's a lot of slack. 
So we're going to take up the slack. Again, we're not going to do super tight. We pretty much just want to take up as much by hand as possible because we still have to anchor the right angle pulley. And sometimes you may need to work the cable just a little bit to get some of the slack off. Okay, now with the cable decently tight, we're going to look and make sure that our pulley lines up. Make sure we're on the pulley there. Make sure our pulley lines up so we're not hitting anything. And this side's a little tighter tolerance. You'll see that's a pretty good spot. I'm not touching, I'm not rubbing. And so at this point, I'm going to go ahead and drill these two holes, throw the bolts in, and then that's going to be finished. And now the last thing that you do is run the shutter. And you're going to run it about a foot closed. And then you're going to notice there's going to be slack. So you're going to take up that slack like I did before, run it like a foot back, take up the slack again, and then go about halfway down and just kind of back and forth until you take up the majority of the slack that's wrapped around these two shafts. And then once you get that taken care of, then you should be pretty good to go. Um, if you have any questions, I posted my email address on the bottom of this video, and it's jeremysmith at robofocus.com. That's J-E-R-E-M-Y-S-M-I-T-H at R-O-B-O-F-O-C-U-S.com. Thank you very much.